Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about a really beautiful book I read a few days ago, which is um, Sputnik Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami. If you didn't already know, I have lately been uh, turning into a Murakami obsessive. I have not read much of him, but from whatever I've read, I have really loved his works. So yeah, I came across this book and it, the story is presented through the eyes of or the narrator of the story is some a guy named K. He's a school teacher and he has like a best friend called Sumair and he loves her. So he's in love with Sumair but Sumair is apparently unaware of that. In fact, Sumair is um, struggling with or um, trying to understand her own sexuality and she is interested in women. So she comes across this um, woman older, uh, really, really old to her. Her name is Miu and Sumair is pretty sure that she is in love with Miu. And uh, she has these conversations with Kay and they decide to make sense of whatever is happening with Sumair. So further ahead in the story, Sumair goes on this trip with Miu, a business trip with Miu. And uh, one fine day, Kay gets a call that Sumair has disappeared. And um, from then on, the story is about Kay and Miu trying to find out where Sumair is. And you have to discover for yourself if they successfully find out Sumair or they don't, where is she, and all those things. Um, now, when I started reading the book, I felt that it's about Sumair, obviously. Um, but, you know, by the end of the book, I realized that although the story was taking place around Sumair, yet somehow Murakami has very creatively made the story about other characters as well. He has made it about K, he has also made it about Miu, and then obviously it is about Sumair as well. So from this I can, I what I concluded is that he has a really really good way of understanding and making others understand um, human nature, human psychology, human emotions and everything and that's why his books are very relatable, um, very very close to the reality so you will always feel connected to some or the other character in the book. And Murakami has a great way of presenting human emotions, you know. Um, I myself love to write and a lot of times I, I, I feel stuck up when there's something I know that people feel, some anything, any sort of thing, but I just can't put it into words. So that's why I appreciate even more how easily he puts all those um, complexities into words and makes it into a beautiful masterpiece. Just like the other works of Murakami that I have read, this one was deep and intense as well. And another thing that I also found in other novels that I read and in uh, Sputnik Sweetheart as well, that the book always has open endings. Um, I mean that you can always interpret in your own way. There is no particular uh, defined ending to the book. So that's something nice. You can, um, you know, everyone will perceive the story in a different way. Everyone will have a different understanding of what actually happened. And since you don't really know, like the author doesn't provide an answer, it's it becomes really thought provoking. And even after you are done with the book, even after you have closed it, you are still thinking about the story. So that's very deep, intense and thought provoking as well. Also, not only the ending, the entire book is very, um, the entire book has this element of mystery. Um, you know, mystery, it's because everyone is trying to understand their own lives as well as that of others from their own past uh, experiences and perspectives and everything. So overall, I think it's a great book. Anyone who likes to read lighthearted books that are still very meaningful, can go for Sputnik Sweetheart by Haruki Murakami. Fiction lovers can give it a try as well. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That's very important. So whenever I'm uploading anything, you are notified. Also, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. 